Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you how to download the Kia blockchain directly from uh, GitHub. So this is right now uh, the only 100% trustable source to get your Kia um, blockchain uh, GUI uh, toolchain, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, in a trusty way let's say so um github is where the kia blockchain the kia network is actually hosting uh, every piece of code uh, they have public so um they also have all the quick start guides and wiki repos that you may need in here but we're not gonna cover that what we're gonna do is crawl all the way up on the page Check here where it says releases, click on it, double check that we're looking at the latest release and it's verified, and then we're going to select our executable for our specific system. In my case, it will be an exe. We're going to download it. We also have DMG, RPM, and Debian. As soon as it's downloaded, we open it up. Let's see. And it starts. Right now it's trying to sync to the tool to the um, network. Um we are gonna need right now here um we're gonna need to create uh, a wallet so what we're gonna do is either we import it from uh, a previous installation or we create a new private key in our case we're gonna create a new private key now we need to wait to generate all the keys for us it's gonna take a bit. Okay. Now that uh, we have all the keys here, we absolutely need to back them up. Now, you have two ways to do that, basically. And you can do them both if you feel secure enough. First of all, um, let's start by saying that these are basically whatever separates your wallet from being lost and being accessible whenever you want on any computer connected to the uh, network, to the Kia network. So you absolutely need them. In any case, your Windows completely crashes, you need to format everything and lose your Kia wallet. With these letters, you can download the wallet again on your PC and resume your work and gain your keys back without any kind of issues. Okay, so here uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So there isn't a very um, specific way to do it. Um, the only... Um, let's say correct way is a secure way it's a it's a way that you know it's trusted uh, and you're not gonna lose them no matter what so for this i'm gonna use my dash lane uh, notes uh, mm, section tab what you need to do is just copy them one by one you can Simply copy paste them. It is important though that you remember the order. So it doesn't matter if you write down or not these little numbers, which obviously are the sequence, but you must pr preserve the sequence anyway because they may be asked uh, maybe for in future application updates they may be asked uh, 
in a specific uh, um, way. So for example, they may shuffle the 24, they may put it here, and you need to count them one by one, and knowing that the 24th will maybe need to go here. So that is the only thing that you need to do. Assuming that right now we saved all of them, we're gonna go, click next. It is normal if it takes a while, it's because it needs to actually synchronize the wallet uh, um, to the blockchain. So depending on how much the network uh, is um, um, loaded, let's say loaded right now, um, it may even take some minutes. Okay, so now it successfully loaded the page. And uh, as you can see, we have our receive wallet. We can add new plots, we can farm them, trade, uh, Kia, and so on. We are gonna need to wait for it to completely sync and especially download the boot blockchain on our PC. As soon as the download is finished, uh, you can start using your wallet. Um, it doesn't need to be uh, finished syncing uh, to start plotting, but if you want to trade or do anything else, or even earn uh, cheers, you're gonna need to let it finish. It may take, depending on how many peer connections um, it can create, it can establish. It may take from, uh, let's say, four or five hours to even two days, two to three days. I have another video about how to add other peers. So if you want to speed up the, this process and at the same time helping the blockchain, you should watch it.